Hi friends, this is Gani. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to create rod bracing just like this. And second type of rod bracing connection and without bows just like this. As per your requirement, you can create any type of rod bracing connection just like this. Okay. Before going to create this type of rod bracing connection for more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under the videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when i upload a new video so please click on subscribe okay let's start before going to create this type of rod bracing connection i am going to take a new project go to the menu and take new click on create click on this arrow and close it and drag it and maximize this window just like this and go to the steel and select the column and place it here and right click on mouse interact double click on this column we are going to change the elevations of the columns under the position at the bottom make it zero click on modify and close it take one more column take the column and place it here we are going to create a rod bracing in between these two columns before that we need elevation along grid a uh, for elevation click on the grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines click on create okay uh, click on elevation on grid A and click on this arrow and close it. We are in the elevation on A. Okay, take the reference points. For reference points, go to the edit uh, points under the points. Take at any position. Click on it and place at here at the grid intersection point. And take one more point at at this location. And right click on mouse interact select this point drag and select this point right click on mouse move special linear in the z direction we are going to take one feet click on move similarly right click on mouse interact and take this point drag and select this point right click on mouse move special linear click on clear at this point we need to move downward direction so enter minus one feet click on move okay we need two more points on this column so drag and select these two points and right click on mouse copy from here to here we have points at here also on this column now go to the steel and select the beam and select the first point here and select the second point at here. Go to the 3D view by using the shortcut control tab. Here you can see we have I section profile here. Rotate and view the I section profile but we required the rod bracing. So double click on this beam at the top under the name uh, type rod bracing and under the profile click on here we require the rod bracing so under the circular sections under the rod take RB or rod rod profile click on rod and here by default 1 inch 15 by 16 is there uh, for example we require 1 inch diameter of the rod so enter here the 1 inch and click on apply ok and go to the bottom under the position at the depth make it middle click on modify here we go we, we have the rod at this location and close it 
we need one more rod here so select the beam once again and select this first point and select the second point here right click on mouse retra view here you can see we have two rods but we require the connection at this location so go to the application components by using the shortcut control f control f and in the search box enter bracing otherwise go to the steel detailing under the bracing connection drag it down scroll the mouse here you can see when bracing one select this component and close the window and select the main part as a column and select the second part as a rod bracing now rod, rod bracing by default connection will be generated just like this this is the by default generated rod bracing connection we are going to change this plate thickness and width and length and number of bolts and these sizes and uh, nut washer sizes everything as we require so right click on mouse red draw view double click on this component close it before going to change this values so go to uh, browse from here and select the default file and click on load and after that click on modify now we can change these dimensions uh, for example uh, we are going to change this uh, width and length of this plate from here uh, here uh, let's take 5 inches the width, width of this plate and enter here the 1 feet is the length of this plate click on modify here you can see now this plate width should be 5 inches and length should be 1 feet uh, for this thickness go to the parts and enter here the let's take half inches the thickness of this plate and click on modify here you can see now this plate thickness should be half inches up to now we have control width and length and thickness of this plate now we are going to deal with deals with this round plate go to the picture and here uh, let's take this length of this round plate uh, considered as uh, 5 inches and width is let's take 2 inches click on modify here you can see now this round plate length should be 5 inches and width should be 2 inches just like this you can control as per your requirement uh, for this thickness go to the parts and under the T in the round plate box enter let's take 1 by 4 is the thickness of this round plate click on modify here you can see now this plate thickness should be 1 by 4 just like this after that we are going to uh, control this whole size go to the picture here you can see this indicates the whole size uh, for example we know this rod diameter is the 1 inch so for example take 1.5 inches the thickness of the hole diameter of the hole then click on modify here you can see now this whole diameter should be 1.5 inches you can control from this option after that come here you can control this slot sizes from brace connection go to the brace connection tab here you can see this is the slot size uh, this is the half inch of the total length of the slot for example total length of the slot uh, we are going to consider as a 4 inches then we are going to take here 2 inches because this box indicates half of the length of this slot so uh, let's take 2 inches and uh, for example width we are going to take 1.5 inches then we need to take 3 by 4 half of this uh, slot click on modify here you can see now this slot length should be 4 inches and width should be 1.5 inches just like this you can control by using these options after that you can control this uh, rod projection also from this picking point uh, let's take 4 inch projection from the picking point then come here 
uh, from pick, picking point to in this direction enter here 4 inches click on morph it now this rod from this pick point to here is the 4 inches just like that you can control let's take 6 inches just like this okay here this indicates the threaded rod how much you require from pick point to bottom side you can control from here for example let's take 4 inches the uh, thread from pick point to bottom side click on modify now the from pick point to here th this indicates the threaded of this rod uh, it will be appear in the shop drawing just like this after that we are, we are going to take the nuts and washer so go to the parts and under the washer browse from here we know already know this rod the diameter is the one inch so we need to take one inch uh, nut and wash also so go to the others cancel it check it once uh, washer go to the browsing from here go to the others uh, here you can see this is the ha round washer click on here we require the one inch washer click on here and apply okay Similarly like that we need to take nut and extra nut also 1 inch so browse from here go to the others at this moment we need to take 1 inch nut click on apply ok similarly we are going to take from here go to the others heavy hex nut click on 1 inch apply ok click on modify here you can see we have now now we have the washer and nuts also you can control this thickness of the nut and washer from here for example take a lock nut 3 by 4 inch and 3 by 4 inch in the extra nut and lock nut extra nut and nut sizes and round washer or let's take 1 by 4 inches the thickness of the round washer click on modify here you can see now this round washer thickness is the 1 by 4 and this two nuts thickness is the 3 by 4 just like this you can control from here after that we are going to deal with this bolts and this plate also for example go to the picture here you can see from edge to whole distance we, are, we we already know the torque length is 1 feet for example from edge to hole distance means from here edge to first hole distance we are going to control from here uh, let's take 5 inches click on modify here you can see now from edge to hole distance should be 5 inches after that go to the bolt tab uh, for example we require only one bolt then enter here the one bolt click on modify after that go to the picture uh, from hole to first bolt this bolt distance we can control from here for example take 3 inches click on modify now let's take 4 inches click on modify here you can see now from hole to this bolt center bolt distance should be 4 inches like that you can control from here uh, you can control this bolt sizes from under the bolt go to the under the, under the bolt here um, bolt size select for let's take half inch is the bolt size click on modify here you can see now this size should be half inch you can control the distance between the two bolts from this option enter here the two is the number of bolts and the distance between the two bolts for example take three inches click on modify here you can see now now distance between the two bolts should be 3 inches and number of bolts 2 now uh, let's take from hole to this distance 5 inches click on modify just like this after your requirement you can control these distances and variable dimensions as you require just like this once completed these things then click on modify apply ok when you click on apply you can uh, use the same dimension value for each and every junction go to the application components once again and select this option wind bracing close it 
at this time we are going to take here main column and second column as uh, second remember as a rod and here you can see by default created with uh, above dimension values because we are click on apply option so this generated with the above values just like this you can apply these same options at each and every point go to the application components once again and select it and close it select this column and rotate and select this rod bracing and similarly do at here also here you can see just like this no need to enter the value at every time once you created as you required for one connection you can apply the same values at every junction for, for sometimes some companies are not using these walls uh, so that double click on it if you don't require uh, any walls at this junction then go to the walls and enter here 0 click on modify here you can see there is no walls after that you can control you can adjust this uh, plate width and length also go to the picture for example take 5 inches and width uh, let's take 5 inches click on modify and make it exactly middle we need to make this uh, 2.5 inches and here we need to make it 2.5 inches for adjusting exactly middle we're going to take let's take 6 inches and 3 at here and 3 at here become more fun. just like this we are going to change this 4 inches width click on modify just like this some companies are using this type of connection without bows as per your requirement you can control this type of connection or about type of connection with bows or without bows as you required this is a rod bracing connection just like this if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please uh, like it and share it for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under the videos you can find out so many tech class structure related videos i hope these videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when i upload a new video so please click on subscribe thank you